Good day, traders. The four-step method to high-performance trading is a free course download for increasing your competence and your ability to execute your trading edge in live time. The link for the download is in the description box below. And the free audio program, The 7-Step Daily Routine for High-Performance Traders, is also a free download to develop your discipline, your confidence, and a winning mindset to master the markets. Again, the download for these links is in the description box. They're both free downloads. Let's get started. Good day, traders. Stacy Burke from Stacy Burke Trading. Today, we're going to be discussing further the day count, the opening range, a bit more emphasis on the Asian range, hopefully to break down and clarify trading uh, setups for traders who are struggling with the three session, uh, three day parabolic opportunities. We'll talk a little bit about the Friday closing range as well as uh, when it's a lower high of the week, how that can play into our three day setup Friday, Monday, Tuesday, if indeed they present high week, low week opportunities into a new week. We will discuss the opening range in conjunction with that Asian range and using that Asian range and when that moves outside of the Asian range in terms of that initial three hour window, if it moves outside of that in London, extending the range, again, three session setup for potentially a New York setup or a London setup and understanding where those highs and lows are of the day. Tuesday puts in our initial balance and just clarifying the importance of understanding the time of day asia the asian high low ends for me at 159 a.m new york time so the rollover time i use new york closing charts i know traders some traders are using mid midnight close and these other things my my close my rollover time is 5 p.m new york so currencies roll over at 501 p.m commodities indexes typically will begin at 6 p.m new york time but Asia for me ends at 1.59 a.m. That's where I mark off my high and low. Now, if there's been a high-low peak formation in Asia that has been extended or broken out of, that 1.59 area then becomes my high or low. But that peak formation breakout, is all that level is also significant now of where a market may pull back to or target if there is a reversal opportunity. London for me ends at 7.59 a.m., New York time, meaning that at that time, I will mark off the high and low of that session or the day, depending on where those peak formations are. Now, 7.59, I mark off my high or my low, and the day for me again ends at 4.59 p.m. Now, I don't trade these times. My, my trading time is still the same, 8 to 11 p.m. if I'm trading Asia, 2 to 5 a.m. New York time if I am trading in London, which I am not. I'm in bed and asleep, and then New York 8 to 11 a.m. New York time. Now, we're not going to talk about uh, the other time gap time opportunities. We'll save that for a future video, but just repeating that most stop hunts are 25 to 50 pips outside of the high or low daily range. So that means that sometimes Asia may put in a range. London may open and extend that and actually go 25 to 50 pips outside of that range in reverse, setting up for a U.S. session parabolic move through the high of the day or a continuation trade uh, in that reversal direction. So these are some things that we'll talk about. Uh, that is very important to understand. Now, we're, this can set up for the session that you're trading. This can set up in Asia, coming out of London, U.S. into Asia. This can set up into London, coming out of U.S., Asia, London for reversal or trend trades. And then it's about identifying the best instrument that has the best setup, not trying to curve fit your strategy on one instrument every single day so that we can identify when there's just a three session parabolic trade opportunity, locking the money, get off the screen or a three day parabolic opportunity that may be the same or an all in reversal or trend trade, particularly on a day three, especially if it's a Friday. And this comes back to my mantra, free cash Wednesdays and free cash Fridays. That the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and the Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. In the Monday to Friday, three-day template. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday for three-day, three-session parabolic opportunities. Now, for simplicity's sake, we'll look at uh, Japanese yen, like repeating that I follow 
four or five of the major currencies. I look at some of the cross rates and I will glance at New Zealand and Aussie dollar, but I do not typically trade them that often. But there are opportunities on those markets and we'll demonstrate that. If you are trading Asia, for example, we start our new week. We've had a, a U.S. session closing range up high, a pump day. So we have a close from our uh, high of the week on our Friday Asian session, and we have a market that breaks out right away in our gap time just prior to the Asian session beginning. Now, I also want to point out that this market into the close on Friday had three levels plus of rise. We went on major red news and continued up to almost the 75 level into the close of the session for three levels of rise. This, of course, at the high of the week could be considered a pump heading into our Asian session. This is a 15 minute chart. If we go into our five minute chart, we'll just zoom in here. We've taken out, I'll bring this over to keep traders tuned into that. We've gone three levels of rise. We can keep our level above 50. The market goes higher at the beginning of the new week, the new day. We go above 75 and we have a new high put in place. So again, we've extended the range. We've extended the range heading into our Asian window. We've had three levels of rise. We have volume trapped above 50. And now we've extended that range and we've gone up in the escalator fashion in one push, two push, and one, two, three, 45 minutes into our session. Now remember, we've taken out the high of the week on our beginning of Monday, right at the rollover for an opportunity of a reversal trade at the high of the week on our Monday at the beginning of the session. Now this is Asia, we're, we're looking at the Japanese Gen specifically because it probably has a uh, tendency to maybe trade greater in the Asian session. We have volume trapped above our engulfment candle. This is a five minute chart or universal entry criteria met a one bar stop. No major red news on the calendar for a short, easy, stress free uh, 25 to 30 pips, 40 pips, depending on where traders get filled. The fill price on the close of this candle is 78. The low of that range takes us down to 38. So roughly 35 pips of zero heat, zero stress at the beginning of our week. We have now a potential failed breakout, but we'll talk about the Asian range. Now this was actually a US holiday. It was Memorial Day, we'll just put that in place. But understanding that even though there's a US holiday, Asia and London still trade. So taking that into consideration, heading into the uh, 1.59 AM, the close of that candle, that marks off our low of the day. Now, prior to that breaking down, the yen put in a lower peak formation high, and that makes our new high of the day, our new high of the day heading into our US session, which was a public holiday. And as I mentioned, that typically will uh, go into a narrow range trading range once the US markets open. Now, the uh, yen traded up higher before breaking down and we redraw our low of the day prior to the US market opening at 7:59 a.m. This candle right here is our low of the day So now that market reverses in our holiday and trades in a very tight narrow range We have a US session peak formation low a London session peak formation high, major round numbers at 50 to form our peak formation high, peak formation low rectangle. And you'll notice that we're between zero and 50. We're between zero and 50 as we head into our day two. Now this was our opening range with a failed breakout at the high of the week, day one. As we creep into our new day, we have a rising trend of volume before breaking structure on the inside. This is prior to our Asian session window. This again is a 15 minute chart. When we put our universal EMA in place, we have a death candle that happens right at the open of the session. That death candle is a bearish candle with a large pin on it that signifies they have engulfed and locked in the high. Once I see a candle like this, I will have no problems once this market pops up to enter this short trade. 
death line, death candle. Death line is where we have volume all trapped above this line. You'll notice the closes of these candles are all above that line. Breakout pullback for the continuation short trade on day two in line with our original short trade from the failed uh, breakout on day one Monday for again a day two easy 25 to 40 pips. Double zeros and 50 pip box. 25 is our midline continuation trade. Now let's go back now that we have our range. We have a normal day now. The previous day was a holiday. We can mark off our Asian session high and our Asian session low heading into our uh, Europe London window. The market breaks out and engulfs in the gap time. So this is uh, later. This is at uh, 6.15 a.m. New York time. Off of 50, again, you'll notice we're trading between 50 and double zeros. Again, I'm going to emphasize uh, if you have the opportunity to uh, identify an instrument that's trading between major round numbers, 50s, double zeros, as opposed to quarter levels, that may offer a better trade opportunity as sometimes major round numbers, 25 and 75 into double zeros, can cause major resistance or support because uh, double zeros can be a major area for institutional and psychological late levels for trading. But coming back to our understanding of the Asian range, this market breaks down in our gap time and accelerates down prior to the session window opening. So it breaks out of our range. Now this breakout, we had a lower peak formation high, sorry, lower peak formation low, and we can stick to either one of those as we have major round numbers there. But if they dump it down before a session begins, we had major red news on the calendar for 10 a.m. New York time. And we have the escalator up, major red news, trading into our breakout level, double zeros, major red news, pins up into that level. Now, this is an example of where I would be looking to enter in on a smaller time frame. We have, we're on the lower level, we have a five minute chart. Again, some traders don't like the one minute, but it's about understanding the timings. Major red news. The market has already broken down. We're already in a broken down market. We've made lower lows. We broke out and made a lower low for the day. And now we're, we've crept back up into the breakdown. I would put a starter on it, double zeros. Now, if we put our universal EMA on here, traders will notice also that this is above the EMA, but remember, we're already in a broken down market. This is a creeping trend back up, but we get a parabolic move down 25 minutes into the hour for a vertical blow off of 25 pips. So we're just coming back to understanding the Asian range, the day count, day one, day two, and the session opportunities uh, for traders in the different sessions, which brings us to free cash Wednesday. So again, you'll notice we're trading between double zeros and 50. We have a lower peak formation in the US session heading into the close. Peak formation high, and of course our peak formation low of the day, day three. And we have a, an, an Asian range that stays inside of that high low until one hour prior to our Europe London window. So again, when we get to 1.59 a.m., that is the low of the day. We've broken out of our Asian range. That is the low of our day. We have a break in structure in our first hour. This is a five minute chart with our EMA in place. We're below 50. We're, we're, we've dropped three levels from 0, 75, 75 to 50 and into that third level. We have a break in structure. Now again, this is an example of when you understand the setup, the timing window in terms of five minute, one minute, etc., is irrelevant because it's getting, it's about understanding if you're getting in, it's about the level. Our first hour puts a peak formation low in place, a lower low. It also puts a peak formation high in place, a higher high. Higher high on the inside is the setup for a dump and pump. Heading into the end of the hour, we trade back into the low prior to the London session opening. The London market opens above this level. 
trades down for three minutes before reversing inside, but anywhere underneath of 50 is an area to fight for best fill. Once you know you're getting in, the area is under 50. Now, coming back to our longer time frame, our five minute chart, we can see that if traders were in before 50, they had an opportunity to trade back to the high of our US session lower peak formation high, which essentially takes out the high of the day. That being the case, we now have a lower low, a low of the day and a higher high, which again, range expansion on the downside, range expansion on the upside. So at 7.59 a.m. New York time, we redraw our levels. We now effectively have a market that is trading within a 75 pip box before going vertical on the news. Major red news at 10 a.m. on Wednesday. We have on our five minute chart, a reversal engulfment off the quarter level that comes back inside of our high of the day. One minute chart, we have three pushes up before trapping volume and coming back inside of our EMA above our double zeros for an easy 25 to 35 vertical parabolic reversal trade from the high of the day after major red news. For traders who wanted to hold on to that or leave a trailer, that market has now traded back to our low of the day. So again, the Asian range, if they've expanded it, or it establishes our, our extreme, even if it breaks out, but that becomes a level now for significance for either a failed break reversal, they trade back into that low peak formation, low peak formation high, they trade in the low equity hour opens for a vertical 25 or sorry, 50 pip reversal. They extend that range before dumping back into longs from the London session. We now have our high and our low. If you're trading inside, you can see that before the news, this market is trapped inside. Consolidation inside. Peak formation low, peak formation high. That peak formation low now in the U.S. can become a higher low as a potential profit target area. This market did indeed reverse. It goes vertical before reversing and failing back inside at double zeros, 25 plus maybe 30 pips outside of the range before reversing, coming back inside and taking out the low of the day. So understanding that you can go back through your own charts and mark off the Asian range, but specifically to the timing just prior to a session beginning. Now, if we come back and take a look at West Texas, so we had Monday, our Memorial Day, we had a 150 pip box that formed on Memorial Day, trading into our day two. So again, if we just walk through that process, uh, we did not break out until the London session on Monday. So coming back to that, if we zoom in on Monday, even though it was a holiday, when the window starts right here, 759, we can draw our level. Now the market continued to go lower. This lower peak formation high could become a potential target as well as the breakout level from our Asian range. The market continues to trade lower in that first hour, putting in a peak formation low. Remember, first hour can put a low and a high in or a low or a high separately. They trade back down into that low before reversing 15 minutes after the New York open at the quarter level. So take a look at the trapped volume. Now, if we put our universal EMA on here again, we're down low, similar to being up high. This does not close inside, but if we go to our smaller time frame, that close coincides with the close rate before our five minute chart, getting us entered in at the quarter level on the reversal after the New York open for a move back up. And this is a public holiday the market still behaves and gives us the trade back through the high, the lower peak formation high and into the Asian session breakout for 75 pips. So again, Monday forms our opening range. 
high low for the week and you'll notice we were in a 150 pip box a dollar 50 box and on day two they trade back up into the lower peak formation high of london the high of our day the new high of our day prior to this market reversing london us asia 25 pips above the one dollar box before breaking down inside peak formation high peak formation low consolidation I've got a gap on this chart. There were some gaps on this day on um, several instruments. I assume there was some volatility during the night. But this market breaks down prior to the window opening. This lower peak formation high becomes our new high of the session, high of the day for London. There's our high. There's our low. The market pumps up into the U.S. session window. This was an excellent opportunity for traders in the U.S. session. Several traders hit this trade for a almost 200 pip collapse depending on where traders entered and exited this trade on day two in line with our already broken down market so the market had broken down in the london window pumped back up rolled over on day two we have day one breakouts in the market heading into our session but again coming back to our asian high low this market broke out and pulled back and pulled back into our lower peak formation high to continue the move which brings us to free cash Wednesdays. We have a peak formation high in the US, a peak formation low in the US. That is our high low because Asia stayed inside of that range. Peak formation low, peak formation high. This all then becomes consolidation. If we zoom in a bit here, you'll notice that we are trading between double zeros and 50 heading into our Europe London window. Now we'll just back this up a tiny bit. We'll go to our five minute. Now I only trade oil in the US session and that is when the NYMEX markets open 9 a.m. New York. We have a market that broke broke out, pulled back and traded lower again, pump and dump heading into our gap time. So this market has now broken out of our Asian range, our US Asia high low. Remember this was a Asian range that traded inside of our US peak formation, high peak formation low, essentially between three levels 25, 50, and 75, and then into a narrower range breaking lower between 50 and double zeros, and then and then 75 quarter level before breaking down and dropping almost $2, 200 pips. Now this is really important uh, for traders to understand because this is what will help you identify on day three or any particular day a short squeeze opportunity if indeed it presents. The same thing goes for a long squeeze. We have our low of the day at 7.59 a.m. heading into our U.S. session window. We have lower peak formation highs underneath 75. That is our high. That is our low heading into our U.S. session pattern. Within a pattern, we have a rectangle. Don't know this thing could do a measured move and go another 200 pips or $2, which is why it's important now that we watch how the market behaves when it gets to these levels. We have a low of the day put in place in the first 35 minutes of our US session. Puts a low in place. First hour will put a low and high in place or a low and or a high by itself, which now is an area down in level one between 25 and double zeros for a potential reversal opportunity if indeed it presents. We're on day three, we've dropped $2, that's three levels of drop, 50, 50, and 50. Now we go to our smaller time frame. And why is that? Because once I have my thesis in place and I have my levels in place, it's all about timing and how price behaves when it gets to those levels. We have a rectangle, a pattern within a pattern as Peter Brandt calls it. We extended the range, we redraw our highs and lows. First hour puts in a high and a low, goes into consolidation at 9 a.m. When the NYMEX market opens, we get a vertical engulfment sideways inside of our rectangle at the low of the day. We put our EMA on there, we have an absolutely optimal entry, which several traders hit. And we also now have a potential for a range expansion of this pattern within a pattern, our rectangle, for a 200% expansion of the range. If we can go body to body, that just gives our target a little bit tighter space for error. And we can see we've hit that double zeros clearly. Important on day three. So several traders told me they were looking for continuation trades, low hanging fruit. 
that may be, except that what happened when price got to these levels, it's all about how it behaves. First hour puts it low, they trade back into the low and engulf and go vertical. One of the reasons they go vertical quickly is because they have traders in the money all the way down here and caught down low. That explosive move goes back up to stop out traders who are in the money very fast and very quickly. And people who are hesitant or who haven't taken off the money don't know if this is just a pullback and a continuation and they hold on and they can't decide and it keeps going further against them before they know it. They're stopped out at break even. Maybe they're optimistic here. They hold on and now they're, they move their stop. They get stopped out now with a small loss or they hold on and it gets bigger and what, all those kind of things. But once the market has moved, it, we had a parabolic move in the gap. That's almost a dead giveaway. They moved in the gap time, not at the beginning of London. They tried to go lower, came back up, tried to go lower, came back up before finally breaking down. This is order flow for an explosive reversal opportunity on day three, but it's all about how price behaves. 7.59, we have our low a day in place. They extend the low. How far? 25 to 50 pips. Didn't quite get a little bit further than 25, but double zero is held. They reverse right at the timing window. Five minute chart, same entry. On our one minute chart, we just had an opportunity to finesse this a bit tighter for an explosive reversal trade back into shorts from the London Gap. Now just quickly, we'll do gold uh, in the interest of time and not dragging the video out too long. I'll encourage you to go back, study your instruments, look at your signal days, your Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday setups. We have peak formation low, peak formation high, heading into our Wednesday on gold. Now, uh, just to point out, again, Monday was a holiday. We'll just highlight this. We'll back this up and let traders see. So Monday was a holiday. We had a uh, low of the week. Our closing range on Friday was down low. We had a dump type day into the close. That sets up our low of the week. And this market was a narrow range day on our Monday, day one, day two, day three. Sorry, this uh, Asia was our low of the week. We had our peak formation low of the U.S. session. Uh, Monday was a narrow range day. Heading into our uh, Tuesday, we had a three-day setup for a parabolic trade on day two, failed breakout. Again, uh, some of my charts have gaps on these particular areas. Not sure why. And then that brings us to Wednesday. Peak formation low, peak formation high. We have day one longs in the market from the break of Monday's high. And that sets up our consolidation. Now we have peak formation low. We have our peak formation high from the U.S. session forming our high of day. This market at 7.59, sorry, 1.59 a.m., one minute before our Europe open, we have our high of the day. That market right off the bat of our Europe opening golfs our high bull at the high of the day. And we get a break in structure in our first hour. First hour puts a higher low in place. Higher low, body, bodies of these candles. And right at the London open on our five minute chart, we get our reversal for the short trade back into our longs from the Asian session. So again, understanding that ramped up volume sometimes can become trapped for a collapse or a fade back into those, those longs. Uh, and this is a off quarter level. So 25 to 50 pips above. They break down inside. We want to get filled at the quarter level. At best, fill for the collapse if you were trading this in the London session. Now, coming back to our Asian range. We have our low of the day and our high of the day. In the London session, they put in a higher peak formation low. Again, 50. We had a low of the day made in the London session. They traded back into that before making a higher high and trading back up through our bodies at the one hour prior to our session beginning for a parabolic setup heading into our US session. Parabolic setup is when we get that sloped, ramped up volume for the blow off move on day three heading into our window. This is prior to major red news. So 
Our range was extended in Asia. We redraw that level prior to the session beginning. They made a higher low, peak formation low. We can even move this up now that we've traded up in there. Once the session begins, they come down and make a swing low. That can become a target if this market was to have a reverse, which it did on major red news, which we talked about. We'll show that in a second. Peak formation low, peak formation high. This is now the high of the day. After the news, the market pumps back up to that level and takes out the high of the day. One push, two pushes, three pushes on day three. High bull is engulfed. We don't have a first red day. It's day two from our failed breakout on uh, Tuesday. We don't have a first red day, but we have peak formation highs, three pushes, and a breakdown heading into the close of our day. Tomorrow's day three. We have a non-farm ADP. But one other thing that I want to show traders is now Wednesday becomes day one heading into our Friday. And you'll notice that... Our day three today has trap volume underneath of Tuesday's high of the day, forming a W formation. W formation with volume caught below Tuesday's high. This is a reset. So we can have anything tomorrow. We could have a narrow range day, an inside bar. We could have a continuation trade. We could have a first red day. Uh, but this becomes our reset. And if this breaks down, this can also become a failed breakout at the high of the week. So an interesting scenario. We have a reset for a potential day one, day two, day three continuation, maybe long or tomorrow and then a reversal Friday. Or we have a failed breakout that breaks down tomorrow and that becomes our day one failed breakout at the high of the week for a reversal trade, maybe back down to the low of the week. Don't know. We'll know when we get there, but I wanted to point out this potential reset area. Our day three becomes our day one. This can become a day one, day two, day three. Dump and pump back towards the high of uh, Wednesday. Or we can break down and be targeting the low of the day from today. But the Asian range is uh, very powerful. But the timings of that, those high lows, any day we draw these, we can see, zooming in, this is a 15 minute chart, the high low breaks out and we get our new timing window kicking in and major red news, the dump and pump back up to the high of the day. We have level one, 75 pip drop, three levels of drop before major red news yesterday for the pump up back to the high of the day and day one breakouts, day one longs in the market. So the Asian range is extremely powerful when you're inside of a U.S. or a London peak formation. Again, you'll notice going into the new day, peak formation, high peak formation, low consolidation before breaking out and then reversing. That reversal area, by the day, gets engulfed on a parabolic move just in the gap time in London. Study these. Go back and mark up your charts. Pay particular attention to the timings. Mark off those levels and understand when there's failed breakouts in a session itself, 25 to 50 pips. These are powerful, powerful uh, understandings to help you identify the best setups for parabolic opportunities, especially on day three. We'll talk a bit about more some other pairs. We'll try and keep this as short as possible today. Keep it simple, traders. Master your craft. 1% better every single day. And may the markets go with you.